Hello guys, this is Robert from Robert TV. Today I want to show you a build order I came up with while practicing for the map decentering uh, for the Nation Cup 2017. The Decentering is a very unique map where you start with your builds in a small island with full of resources that is scarce wood. And this is an outer island with a lot more resources. But you have to choose where you want to start building here, or you want to go there. He's so worried about stronger. Okay, so with my new mouse, I cannot click things. <laughs> so, you with me. First thing you want to do is scout the outer island, the place closest to your island, so you know what the landscape's like and what your landing options are. You find a very good spot you can land here, but usually it's safer. You want to rush to uh, build the TC in this big island since it's uh, guaranteed air resources you need gears and some kind of shore fish so. that's what I'm trying to secure here okay, I think I'm gonna make the TC here so I can get these two shore fees, access to the wood and have the deer somewhat close. Ashi. So we left pretty hard. Ashi. Far I'm gonna send two already. Okay, once you have scouted your land, you want to go scout the enemy land. You can get some extra wood with me and it's fine because you need a uh, 30 wood for a house. Once you have scouted the <laughs> landscape, you want to go scout the small islands too, to know where is everyone. As soon as you start the house before the TC is 70%, you're fine. You know the computer doesn't really make anything, so... Okay. Smart builds, they went straight for the fish. That's not something you see every day. You want to send the ships to the back of the island so they cannot claim it back with the training ships. Okay. You have to be careful in case they have ITC up because they can kill the training ship with it. That's gonna hurt you a lot. It's gonna ruin your strat on the sun of your ally. Sacrifice himself for you. I'll be late for the second house. So it'll be fine if I use two this. Second house a bit. Yeah. I had really bad wood. I was very far from the TC. So. Come on. It's very annoying when the bills just behave dumbly. Now you want to have uh, information of the outskirts of your land. I don't want to kill the deer so far away. So I'm gonna stick to the ship soon. Okay, so where to make the dark? I guess I'm gonna make it here.
The unique th thing about this strat is I try need to sip to enemy land as soon as I finish the dog. So that's why I'm sending the builder. Okay. Usually you want to go uh, near the coast so that they don't spot you. I was not paying attention. You want to drop them in the middle of the enemy land as deep as possible. Once you have done so, you want to send your tiny ship back because you need to tiny builds to the big land. Okay, we are pretty much set. Just want to hide the builds inside. I get Loom too because I want my builds to be strong. I should be able to go up pretty soon. Okay, we are set to go. No one to try any builds to the outer land. I'm gonna go inside just to be safer. I'm gonna start getting some gold too. Okay, I should be able to with, with the range in a second, you see. So I just want to go out there. And now we all said, you see, it's min 17, I already have two ranges and I can keep archer production, should be able to. At this point the enemy usually have like four galleys and if you hit his wood in the other land you can do a lot of damage. Once you have the ranges up you can re uh, use the builds to to make meals. The most annoying part about this strat is that you need to keep training builds but You can also make a uh, mining camp here and get stone and gold. I wanted to demonstrate how I do it usually because I prefer to call gold in the outer land, which is safer. But in a map like this one, you can go to the first goal. It's good enough. 
You can start making mills with a new build. You you saying you don't really need more wood for keeping the archer action. And you see that's it. As you go up around 14, uh, 30, 40, uh, 15. You can have the range you have at min 17 and some archers at. You can tweak it a bit depending on the map you get and the resources you get, but uh, the basic idea is that you basically build the TC in the outer, in the small island, close to the deer, so you can go up fast. And you try to build uh, when you finish the dog, so you can hide in and you uh, can go through before they make walls. You can attack more than one player. You can k kill the wood of the crashing players. They are dead already. You have secured the water for your team. And if you can hurt the one that's booming or the or the other players in the in the game, you pretty much win the game for your team. Of course, it's a side that requ requires you to do some damage because otherwise you're not gonna be of much use. But uh, since you're training the builds very early. It should be easy to sneak them in the enemy base if you have some basic scouting with ships or something. And that's it. You can play it any way you like. You can go to stone to make some towers with the builds. You can, I don't know, uh, play any kind of variant that you can think of. But you see the basic idea of the, of the build order. I hope you find it useful and fun. I think it's uh, very fun <laughs> to play like this because it's very aggressive and you need to be very active with the training ship with, which is the hardest part about this build order. It is what makes the build order hard to play but if you train it enough you should be able to to do it and if you try it let me know what you think about it and how did it work. Usually you play the century in team games or so that's how we play it in Nation Cup so uh, some players ex specialize in going water, especially Chinese and Viking or Japanese or uh, some kind of support ship. And then you have at least one player booming in the outer land and, and one player rushing in the outer land. So if you can take the the wood uh, the wood camps of the of the enemies in the outer land, you can do a lot of damage. You can pretty much secure the win for your team. Anyway, I uh, hope you like you like the build over. Let me know what you think about it. Let me think. Let me know what would you change. And I hope to see you around. See you guys.